guys, it's Naomi, and once again we are going to be sorting out my life. Yay! <laughs> so I hoard a lot of makeup, and I really don't mean to, nor do I use a lot of makeup at this point. I have a very specific group of like foundations that I use, or um, eyebrows and whatever else. Like I have a very specific face makeup regimen, I guess, or like brand that I stick with, or I like the coverage and everything, so I don't feel like I need a lot of things anymore, and I'm more into the idea of owning things that can enhance or switch up certain looks. I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense to you? On the, on the daily, using just concealer and powder, and then doing a very basic, like, eye makeup look. If you want to see that, I did make a video on it. Because of all of the makeup that I use, it's basically in here. Um, give or take and some of it, like, I don't wear foundation on the daily, you can tell from the fact that I could not spray this out this morning. <laughs> so it doesn't really need to be out, and it'd rather be in a thing. And I have this little drawer where I hold all of my makeup that I don't use rarely ever, and I don't even open the drawer at this point <laughs> because I don't need to, because everything's in this little travel bag. So I thought today we'd clear out and sort out my makeup drawer and declutter because I'm feeling quite claustrophobic over <laughs> not actually but like space to breathe would be nice. I'm just gonna show you what we are working with currently. Give me a second. So this is the makeup station. As you can see it's very cluttered, mainly with skincare. This I mean could just be in here. Oh look at that, it's looking better already. I've gotten quite good at just buying the same products over and over again. Like I have a skin regimen. I will be posting a skincare video at some point. This is a lipstick holder. I have some eye drops that are actually out of date. That's the first thing to go. These are little carry, not carry cases, but like um little travel cases for your sponges. Uh, Ta-da! Sponge. I kind of didn't like the fact that they were just rolling around. There we go. And cute! Look! Yep. Dink! Yeah, we just have some trash, some spot patches. Um, this is an, an manicure eyebrow whatever set. This is actually rubbish. Yeah, all my eyeshadow palettes that I was gonna say use on the daily, but I really don't. But like, these are just there. Uh, yeah, skincare, brushes, you know, the works. This is hair products. I don't want to talk about it, to be honest. This is the drawer. Please excuse how dirty it is. It does need to be repainted and just cleaned. Um, literally, I've only ever seen it like this for, for months. I haven't actually opened it further than this, so I just know that I have, like, this. Um, so let's just open it up. Oh wow, I can't even open it fully. Ta-da! This is basically as far as it will go without it falling out. Du -du -du -du. Look at all those chickens! What's this? Oh, brush cleaner. Nice. So as you can see, it's kind of a bit of a mess in here. Like, there's a lot of things that I haven't used nor touched for years. Um, and I kind of want to... I want to actually be quite brutal with what I want to get rid of. I have things that I do want to use up um, and there's things that I, I don't want to touch with a barge pole to be honest. Not because it's anything bad but because I've I've learnt what I like and I learnt what works for me now. So a lot of my stuff is uh, NYX Professional Makeup. They are one of my favourite brands. For instance, um, this is my favourite foundation. I have it in three different shades. I have the Vanilla one for if I ever actually go out into the sun and get tanned. This is my next shade up. Um, this is fair. Oh no, it's not, it's pale. <gasps> I will never be this shade, but it would might be useful. I used to think this was my shade. I don't know. It's actually quite embarrassing, to be honest. This is actually my actual shade, which is the Alabaster one. Um, but these are all... Why am I... Is this suddenly a promotion for them? But this is the like the light neutrals that they stock for them so i have a light medium and dark um not really medium but you know in the in the light zone i don't know what i'm saying i probably will keep all of them especially like the middle one because that is the one that i use 
on the reg when I want to wear foundation. Have I started? Is that what's happening? We're starting now. But first... Oh no, actually second. We'll go with the second and then we'll come back to the first. This is my favourite mascara. This is actually called my favourite mascara. This is dead, in all honesty. She's gone. She passed away? Oh. Hmm. Okay. She's gone. Um, she's also very hard to catch catch hold of, get hold of these days because it's been discontinued from, from potentially the UK, I don't know. I also feel kind of bad about just binning and like, um, I was gonna say composting but it's really not that, it's actually quite the opposite. Landfill, there we go. Um, landfilling makeup bits and I know that you can donate um, mascara ones to animal sheltery things like they clean birds or whatever with them i sound like i'm insane but i swear that's a thing i would donate half of it but it, it's literally sat in this drawer for up to six years so i don't feel great about giving it to people because bacteria and also yeah bacteria i'm not going to show you all the products but like this is a palette that I have not used yet, but also I really enjoy these colours, so I might have to. This is the Kat Von D or KVD now, but at the time it was just Kat Von D's. It's the Lolita palette. I was really excited about getting this and I barely, like, barely scratched the surface. These are actually very wearable colours. I mean, I wear browns mostly, but like, this is the kind of thing that I fantasise over. This is an eyeshadow by MUA. This is what I've been using as contour for about three months. Uh, and I've unfortunately smashed it and I didn't realise but this is an eyeshadow that I've been using as contour it's called Sha uh, Sa is it? it's called Sand Shell um, this was like a really good colour for c uh, contouring and unfortunately I think it might also be discontinued because I've tried to purchase it several times and I can't find it anywhere like the entirety of like the four shades that are perfect for contouring. They're, they're all sold out and I can't find them anywhere. Unfortunately it's gonna have to go in the bin because it is smashed. Uh, <laughs> she's passed away. Oh, look at that. Blue. That's a nice blue. I'm gonna organize into into categories and I'll come back to you. <laughs> stuff underneath my drawer. Like... Not me actually forgetting that there was eyeshadow palettes on the top of my thing. So here's a nice overview of all of the makeup. Oh, there's still a palette like there. So this is all of my makeup. Well, all of it from here. Like. <laughs> This is a lot. This is insane, especially from the fact that I don't wear lipsticks. Why do I have so many? But also like, why? Why? Just <laughs> the, the sound of things falling behind me is really what is selling this. I've just ruined my piles. <laughs> this is a lot. This is unnecessarily a lot. I only have one face. I'm just, I'm just thinking about my life right now. There's a palette there that I feel like I should get out. Where do we start? Should I just do this? We're starting with the biggest pile. So we're gonna start with the lipsticks. I'm not gonna go through all of them. No, I am gonna go through all of them. I'm not gonna show all of them. Start with this specifically. This is a little makeup pouch that I put a whole bunch of lipsticks in that I haven't worn in years, nor have I actually opened them. I just put them in here because I just don't need them. This is cool. Oh my god, this smells amazing. I don't know why I was offering it to you like you could actually smell it, but it smells like sweets, but it also smells like early 2000s, 90s um, makeup. But like, look, that's so pretty. I don't post makeup videos often, but when I do, it's around Halloween, that one time when I did a Halloween look. But I kind of want to do more, and I kind of want to actually like push myself to think um, creatively with makeup. I have some uh, NYX lingerie 
lipsticks. I, you know what, I don't, I really don't like the formula of these. A lot of people really like them. I found them quite... Why do I have to sniff everything? Quite thick and uh, tacky sometimes. Um, even when it's dried down, overthinking everything. This is going for sure. Uh, like a Halloween look, I thought that would be really cool because it's kind of like a, um, I like an orangey, burnt orangey kind of colour, but it's glittery. These are the MUA uh, Velvet Lacquers. I, these are the first ever lipsticks I ever brought. Um, not you. <laughs> but these, these were the ones that I started collecting and I really enjoyed lipsticks. Or, like they even had a blue one at one point and a black one these are cool these are extremely out of date and i know that for a fact they've also re-released them um as different things but look how many colors i have of them i think i have almost every single one of them actually oh i even have a white one look at that. as much as i love them and i appreciate the fact that they have given me a stepping stone into doing makeup things they need to go, so thank you. Good night. This is the first ever one I brought! Wait, this is actually the first one I've ever brought. I mean, it smells disgusting. I mean, it doesn't smell disgusting, disgusting. It smells kind of like chlorine. But I remember that like, these were actually velvety velvets. Like, they made it velvet, like, feeling. My lips just suddenly went... I haven't put it on, but... My lips almost, like, re-remembered the feeling. I went through a phase of wearing, like, these kind of colours. Like, um... Curly. <laughs> I didn't mean to say oof like that, but oof. It's kind of like a curly pinky kind of colour. This does not... This isn't... This isn't me. This isn't your girl. Just saying. Like, no. This is a PH one. This is kind of cool. I barely used it. I probably swiped it once and I was like, okay. <laughs> That's kind of fun though, because it does go purple. I'm going to keep that, because that could be beneficial if I ever make... I'm going to say Halloween videos, but yeah. Uh, this one is fully sealed, kind of purpley. Again, I'm gonna keep it for potential Halloween purposes, though I don't know if they're actually sold anymore. Again, I have a lot of colours like this. This is actually really... the... the... Um, what are they called? Map Me Up formulas are really good because they go on quite liquidy, but they do dry down matte and they do like... um they last a really long time. <laughs> and they're quite thick in colour as well, if you're into thick like, colours. Do I want to keep this? We keep. Okay. Uh, this is an elf lip colour. I don't... I'm not gonna... She can go. This is a purple one. Do I have a purple? This is kind of cool. I think I might keep this one, even though it's... I was gonna say, it looked like it was barely used. My hand is already covered. What do you think, sis? Lace detail on Teddy? See, this is the problem with being kind of semi-eco-friendly. I don't have like makeup wipes anymore. These are all Kat Von D lipsticks. I really do like the formula of them. And yes, I did go through a little phase of collecting them because I have so many. I have like a, a purple, a black, a dark gray. Fun for Halloween. Um, I think bow and arrow is my favorite one though, out of all of them. But these are all getting kept, keep pile over here where I was gonna do a bin pile, but like the bin is now a bin pile. We have some Jeffree Star lipsticks. I feel like there's another one somewhere. I probably will be keeping all of these because I do wear them. These are limited edition ones. I couldn't tell you if they were Christmas ones. I presume they're Christmas because they're quite glam. Again, this is almost the same color as the lace detail one. These used to smell really nice and I think they're actually gone off. I'm the only one wearing them, so it's fine. I apparently will never be able to clear out anything with that. This little miss climbing into the space where things are supposed to go. Black one, I think I like a little bit better than the Kat Von D, the KVD one. I, I need to get into the habit of saying KVD. Um, we have some, gosh, RIP, gosh. This I wanted to have loved, but they didn't, they took too long drying down. And also I just don't wear lip, like, matte lipsticks. I don't wear lipsticks at all at this point. I just wear tinted lip balm. Begs the question, why am I keeping so many? Um, I have, I brought two sugar, ow, sugar pill ones. Oh my God, this is cracked. Is this dry? She was barely used and that is cracked. Oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go. RIP, but also give me my money back. I really wanted to like these. Like I re, oh my God, these are so, 
They're thicked and cracked. I'm really sad I've never got to use them. The Anastasia Beverly Hills lip stains. They are staying. I have some minis from NYX Professional Makeup because I had their calendar at one point. Yeah, I have the Apple Crisp one. That's quite a recent one purchase uh angel food delight madeline she's blue on the inside is that coming off <gasps> it is well <laughs> bye <laughs> this i haven't opened before i'm kind of scared i'm gonna open it because the other one's got blue on the inside oh that's so pretty i don't know if that's the actual brush itself or it might be the brush itself Yeah, these have little lights on them. Oh, that's quite dainty though. She can stay. Right, I'm just gonna speed through these. I don't really like that. <laughs> we have another sealed one. That's staying. I'm just gonna go through all the minis and see if that's actually anything that I wanna keep or pass. I don't think I like that color that much. Plumpers. Do I like? I like the smell of it. Oh, I forgot I had lipstick already on my lips. I'm feeling nothing here. It's quite minty fresh though. So for like actual clear lip gloss, that might be quite fun. She instantly starts thinging. She's uh, she's getting to work. My mouth feels pain. A 10 out of 10 would recommend. She's going in the keep bar. This one, which is the e.l.f. one. I don't know if you can still buy this one. I've had it for quite a while. My lips are in pain. This is really good. That does make me want to cry when I put it on. Uh, we do have some NYX uh, suede bullet lipsticks. I do really enjoy all of these. These are all staying. Got some gosh ones. I do really like the gosh ones. I've just kept a lot of the same shades and different formulas and that's a bit worrying. So I have a bunch of lip liners. Some of them are quite similar in color. So it begs the question, do I actually need all of them? I would say I don't need that one or that one. I've also had this one probably for like my entire life. Probably never gonna use that. I think the black ones can stay. Uh, not this Bleach London one, because as you can see, I've thrown away the lipstick. I'm throwing away this as well, because that's... I'm just going through and seeing what's actually quite similar. I probably should have done that for all of them and just kept the formulas that I wanted. Tinted lip balms. I do use the um, these a lot. Do I use these ones though? I think it'd come out. These are quite thick. Oh, she looks... Ooh. I'm feeling attacked. You know what, actually, that was quite criminal what you just did. So it's separated. That's great. Mm, you're okay. These two look fine. I think it was just that red one. Uh, I do tend to just use like the, um, the Burt's Bees ones because I just like the formula of them. This one is a pot one and I really wanted it love, but it is, I think, formed with natural ingredients and the ingredient is cherry and I am allergic to cherries and the one time I put it on I felt like my tongue was swelling up. So she is gone. Meet Matt Hughes the balm lipstick. You know what I was gonna bin this but like once again you've clawed your way back in. I did get the majority of it off that, that blue liner was like, I'm here and I'm ready to stay and party. <laughs> what next? Oh, these, these can just go. I only have this amount of eye uh, mascaras. Um, this I think is another one of those dead ones. I keep dead things and I don't know why. This is a skinny one from them. This is a really good mascara. It's just tiny. It's very good to get into the lashes. She can stay. This one is the catchy eye one. I want to use up all of these ones actually. Primer, I honestly will never use it. This I also have only just recently brought because I was trying to find a new version of them. I was going to do like a mascara review on like three different ones. So I'm going to keep those because I am just going to go through them and use them. This is a brown mascara. That's all the mascaras. Are you proud of me? Okay, so I do have some eyeshadow palettes. I really enjoy this palette in particular. However, I'm potentially allergic to Revolution's eyeshadows, but I do want to use these up. This Barry M, this is very cute. I will be using that, even though it does hurt my eyes. This is such a good palette, and I feel like it might have been discontinued, but it's the Basic Matte Reloaded Palette by Revolution. It's just a very good palette. I'm so sorry for the mess. I should probably clean up my makeup. <laughs> but that's quite cute and useful for years. Again, this, I love them, but... 
I am allergic to them. I feel like I have this colour somewhere and I have maybe these colours in other palettes. I have like emotional connections to some of them. Do I have an orange in these? That's so pretty. I just love the amount of effort that goes into them. I think I have enough oranges in my life to be able to get rid of this palette. That's just reds. Okay. But there is an orange here. And that also matches. I so I think I'm going to keep this one and get rid of this one. And if I want greens, I can buy greens again, but also I have green, I have greens in here. I keep thinking I should do like challenges, like makeup challenges, not not like your standard ones, but um, but like ones that, I don't know. I keep thinking of things and I think I might start doing them just so I can use up eyeshadows. This is quite a good basic nude one. This is the um, the Balm Meat Matte Tremoni. See, the thing about these is I've had them for so long and I feel bad throwing them away because they're still kind of in mint condition. These are nice purples. I keep trying to throw you away but you keep coming back even though I'm kind of allergic to you. But those purples are very nice. They're staying. What is that? Is that mold? I don't know what that is but that's kind of freaking me out. Do eyeshadows go moldy? I think that might just be like face powder in there or foundation or something but I'm a bit conscious about that. I do love the Halloween selections. Is a contour palette. Do I Am I that kind of colour? That might be a bit too dark. I almost want to hit pan on this colour a little bit more before I can bin it. Because then it was, it's almost like worth the value. This is where I get to every time I'm always like, but I've spent so much money. So I have a bunch of palettes that I am keeping. Um, don't at me. You wouldn't know that I've used that at least once. I do like the packaging and I do like everything else. So I am keeping all of those and I am going to use them up. I also have the Alien palette. I really like that. Am I going to use a blue pearlescent uh, highlighter? No. Okay. Am I going to use this? Is this similar to anything else I have? This is like a bluey undertoned one. I have these ones. They are the I Heart ones. They're really squishy eyeballs. I kind of brought them because I thought they looked like... Um, uh, this one in particular looks like the eye that used to come up on um, the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games. But that is like a pure white kind of highlighter. Blue is really nice. That's so pretty. Moonlight Pearl one. It is one of my favourite everyday ones. I just haven't used it up yet. We have some individual eyeshadows. These are gosh ones. Kind of cream puff ones. I'm not too interested in. I thought I could use them as like primers and stuff and I don't really like them. I think some of them have dried up a little bit as well. Yeah. I thought I was going to use this one up as a, a brow thing but it's actually quite I've gotten lighter with my eyebrows recently, so that's really been. You know what? I really don't like how that feels, Bin. I do like the colours of them. Eyeshadows that have like a little reflect in them. It's like a little reflecty kind of thing. The green one's cool. I will keep those. I have a lot of little glitters and or pigments. Quite useful. Liquid eyeshadow. A glitter eyeshadow by um, Flower. Yeah, some more liquid eyeshadows. I like to just have them as putting over the top of things. This is really pretty. This is by, um, is it Nails Ink? Oh, Ink Credible. I think it's by Nails Ink, but they, um, it's like a little eye pigment and it's like a, it's like a nice purpley eyeshadow stick. That's quite useful. I actually have like a, a glittery one that I use every day now, which is kind of just useful to just be like bloop, bloop, and then blend and go. Glitter glues, essential if I'm using glittery things. This is a glitter stack. That's all the eyeshadowy things. Yay! We have a bunch of blushes, all from Gosh. I do like these. I have actually just transferred over to using a Nabla one, which is almost basically this color. So I don't really know why I've done that. This is one that you can use for eyeshadow as well. So yeah, those are getting kept. Powders, I used to actually use this one um, when I used to wax my legs, better to have that, it would soak up all the oil and then rip them off. But considering I I suffer from ingrown hairs from waxing, and I've actually just recovered, I'm not going to need those and I'm not going to also need waxing. But these are the gosh ones, they were quite good, they used to be my everyday use ones. This is the Nablo one, uh, setting powder. I got it because um, Evelina Forcell on YouTube here, she's one of my favourite <laughs> like beauty gurus. She was like, I really love this one. I was kind of like, oh, okay, I'll buy it. But I kind of, I'm not a big fan, but I want to use it up. I actually prefer like the MUA or the NYX ones. Uh, we have the Kat Von D one. I am going to keep it. It has kind of terrible flashback, but I did buy a massive pot and it's, 
it's essentially almost gone so I might as well just use it. <laughs> Pressed powder. I do have the Kat Von D Fair. Is she though? <laughs> She's quite pale. That would be quite useful. It is supposed to be um it's a blotting powder so it's not supposed to have a lot of colour in it. I have a like a colour correction palette. This is quite useful sometimes. I don't really use colour correction. If I'm keeping the palette I don't really need these. These are slightly lighter but I figured out how to colour correct my under eyes without having to use colour correctors. Again I don't really use mixes because I've found a foundation shade that I really like. So it feels so wasteful. I feel like I should be putting them somewhere but I don't know where. This is just a little tub that when I go travelling I put foundation in. This is an under eye concealer primer. It's just kind of a bit dry but this is this was quite good. This is from Gosh. This is a primer from KVD. I don't really like it. It's not lost on me the price of these things <laughs> and I have paid for all of it with my own money obviously but this is quite orange. I think she can go. This is a foundation from Gosh. I I really like the idea of these because they are 40% um, OWP which I think is it's made out of plastic that's found in the ocean. Oh actually it's really pink. Oh I want to bin it but I also want to I don't know when you stopped recording but I started going on a rant about how I don't know how to get rid of this because it's saved the ocean so it deserves a good burial but like I'm never gonna use it. I'm ne Actually now that it's oxidized it's fine. I almost feel like I should just get rid of that because this is more of my shade kind of thing. Thank you for doing your service. It might seem really weird but that actually was quite like a, a difficult thing. <laughs> uh, but I am keeping this one. This is the light 43 warm. Uh, we also have the vanilla version and the alabaster version of the Born to Glow NYX Professional Makeup. I do like these. Um, I have a concealer from e.l.f. which is the medium sand. I use this one to like contour sometimes. A sleek contour palette which I've never been able to use because it's cream. I've tried. Maybe I'll try again. Maybe we'll do a video where I learn how to cream contour. I have some eyebrow products um, here. <laughs> I have quite a few. And there's also a pomade. I actually have three of these. Um, all in different colours. I don't really like the bristles on that. Precise brow in um, Expresso. This is just like a flat one. Um, keeping. This is the Lift and Snatch in Expresso by NYX Professional Makeup. It's like just a felt liner. I use the ash brown one at the moment but I'm gonna keep this one as well because that's quite useful. This is a brow filler thing. I don't actually like this. This has got um individual fibers in it. Wow brow. Uh, wow gone. I also have a Precision Expresso uh, brow thing from again NYX Professional Makeup. I do just really like NYX Professional Makeup to be honest. And then I have the Signature Brow uh, KVD. This is the... oh this is dried up. That makes it so much easier. This is um, graphite because I thought I needed a darker brow kind of colour and honestly I don't. <laughs> a three day brow ultimate brow gel from Revolution Pro. Uh, I got given this so is fine. Um, so for primers that I've kept, I've kept this one, um, the dewy one and a high glow one from NYX Professional Makeup but this is the Revolution Pro Hydro Bright Primer. This is also a kind of uh, glowy one. I'm talking really fast because my battery is about to die. We have some fresh face cheek and lip tint colours. These are in Peach Glow Deep Rose and Caramel Kiss. I'm gonna keep these because I uh, because I wear less makeup I could probably use these as like an everyday kind of thing. That's quite a good one to just have as a lip tint. And finally, what are they called? Eyeliners. Uh, so I have a couple of actual pencil ones. I don't wear pencils often so kind of no point in keeping them. This is the 24 hour gosh one. I think this is a really good one. They also release like the wooden eye ones. Sometimes it's just nice to have a whole bunch of eyeliners. But yeah, we have some greens, we have purple, those are my favourite kind of colours. Standard, well that's a gunmetal one, so that's quite fun. Coal one, these are all gosh ones. A brown one. So I don't think I'm going to throw away any eyeliners. 
apart from maybe why are you so good i thought you were dead <gasps> i found a liquid eyeliner that is actually still very usable there's another one here for god's sake anyway this one actually no i can see where you were going that one can bin these are all the epic wear ones then ta-da I think I'm going to keep all of them in this little thing. That's where they were sitting before. Um, and then I have some extreme ones from Gosh that they were discontinued ages ago. This was my favourite eyeliner. Um, I don't know if they're any good now. I mean, because they've been sitting in the drawer for so long. Maybe I'll try and use that at some point. We have a red one or like a plum. I'm just going to swatch all of these for you because I think eyeliners are very fun to look at. Yeah, so those are all the... Uh, gosh extreme ones that I have. I also have some NYX uh, Vivid Bright ones. These are the ones that they released previous to the wear, the Epic Wear ones. They have a green one. I don't understand why that's vivid. That is not vivid. That is just, just like a swamp green. The pink one's a bit chunky. I don't know why. Wow, brown liner. This one's actually exploded. So you can go. A high-vis one from uh, Barry M. This is like the the limited edition tattoo liner is fully worn out I think but I just kept it for the packaging it actually almost looks brown now I think time to go this is nice but like thank you bye I do have a teeny tiny one just in case I ever want to relive that life um oh I do have a glitter eyeliner from collection I don't think they're cruelty free by the way all my makeup that I use is cruelty free I don't think collection is I, I was given this that's a nice blue, so I guess we'll use that up at some point in the future. Yeah, I have another stack of, um, these are high-vis water-activated paint things from uh, Barry M. A white, a purple, and a black. I did take a little break um, and add lunch and recharged my battery. Um, I just went through all my eyeshadows and was a little bit of a nerd and, like, swatched. That's, yeah, I swatched every single colour from all the ones that I wanted to keep. I don't know if this is really a tip but like this is the first time I've ever done it and I thought it was a good idea because um, it allowed me to see all the colours that I actually own and kind of look at the colours that I was kind of for example like these and realise that I do have these colours kind of repeated in other palettes so there's no need for me to keep them although it's not lost, again, it's not lost on me that this is a whole bunch of colours that could very much be used by someone, but I have had them so long I wouldn't want to um, give someone an eye infection or whatever else by giving them away, because I have had them for upwards of like five years <laughs> at this point. I don't think it would be very um, sanitary to keep them and like give them to someone. This one is the only one that I'm kind of a bit like umming and ahhing about getting rid of because I, I just really like this green so I haven't swatched it but I, I'm kind of putting it on the pile to be like maybe. I also haven't touched any of the eyeshadows that I haven't touched at all um, because they are ones that probably could be given away at some point if I don't end up using them. <laughs> so yeah I would recommend doing this if you have a spare notebook. I. I literally just found one and just did this. It's really therapeutic. I um I've sprayed I've sprayed all the pages with like hairspray after I was finished. I kind of treated them like they were um pastels, like um drawing pastels. So I'm gonna organise now. Okay, <laughs> so it is complete. I have finished. Well, I mean, is there still mess? Yes. Is there still things that I probably could get rid of? Yes. Do you like it? I've just done this. I think it looks cool. Anyway, not what we're discussing. This is the finished piece. Da -da -da -da. I mean, it doesn't look too dissimilar. It's just a little bit more organized. There's less up on here. Um, I managed to get all my skincare bits in here, which is one of my top goals for it. I have some lipsticks here. I have actually binned two of the NYX lip... Uh, what are they called? The lingerie ones. 
and also uh blah, what's it called oh the other sugar pill one because i put it on and it tasted foul like it was off so yeah slightly more organized slightly more organized i mean the brushes are a bit bleh, and like we're not discussing this bit and this is the drawer so it does look a little bit still chaotic but it is actually relatively organized like eyeliners and eyeshadowy bits eyeshadow palettes highlighters bron bronzers I, don't, I can't remember powders primers foundations are at the nope foundations are here there's some concealers and foundations up here the main bit is this closes like yeah and all of the makeup that I use on the daily is here which I'm pretty sure I said at the beginning of this was my goal so so oh my god I had lipstick on my hand and I forgot so I think that's it I think that was the the goal of today was to organize everything and it is so I'm very happy with what I've done today I hope you enjoyed watching me go through this little transformation and yeah maybe maybe I'll do some actual makeup videos in the future because I know what I have now and I also I've just my mind has been like oh, wouldn't it be fun if I did this and that and this so maybe in the future I'll do some little makeup challengey things but for now thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video uh, comment in the comment section below if you go through makeup regularly and if so if you have any tips on how to throw away things I mean in like a more sustainable way please let me know because in the future I would like to not throw away things like this um, and I do actually now have all the makeup that I would want to use up, I think without any hesitation. So that's a good thing. That means that I'm probably not going to be buying stuff. I haven't actually brought makeup in a few months actually. I don't think I've brought any makeup apart from like nail polishes, but they last for like eternity. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Have a beautiful day and I will see you next week on another Sunday or on Thursdays when I do gaming videos. Bye. Stay safe. Oh. Thank you.